Hi there, welcome to 100325th Avenue East. It's a 1901 home built in a very long established neighborhood of Capitol Hill. A lot of these houses have been modified over time and this is one of them. It's very modern inside but it's a lovely style home so come on up. So it has a very nice private area here for your front yard. It has a basement downstairs, so you can see this level will go in there last. That's unfinished and it's separate from the home, so it's great for your bikes, your equipment, some extra storage. It's about 300 square feet in the basement and the rest of the house is about 1,700 square feet. It's a two bedroom, two bath home with a lot of nice open spaces. Come on upstairs. So as I mentioned before, this house was built in 1901 and it originally was a two bedroom, one bath on just this level. So it's been all opened up. At the time when the second story was added onto the house, uh, it has all new wiring, all new plumbing. So none of the hassles of any of the old style systems. All of the windows are double pane and they're all custom windows. So they capture the view. And even though it's a gray day today, you can see there's a lot of nice natural light in this house. Where you're looking there, if it was a little clear, you could actually see Mount Rainier right off of there. So this house has a view from Mount Rainier all the way over to Mount Baker, which is kind of unusual to get the full Cascade Range. Get a little bit of Lake Washington, and when the Huskies are playing in the fall, you can actually hear the roar of the crowd. So it's a really great little spot. Um, all the floors are custom wood, Indonesian hardwood. So the floor plan is really open. I've seen it designed a lot of different ways. Sometimes a couch over here and you know, you can flip it around. It's pretty easy to design around. There's a lot of good square footage here. On this level, there is a full bath. It is the original bath of the house. So it has a clawfoot tub. All of the bathrooms have uh, tile floors and they are heated floors so it actually makes it really great in the winter when you're getting out of a, a cold bathtub onto a nice warm floor. All the doors are the big solid five panel doors. There's a fair amount of uh, storage underneath here. It also has a coat rack too so there's plenty of storage underneath the stairs. It's a little messy but go ahead and take a peek. I'll turn on the light for you. And the best part of the house, I think, is the kitchen. So all of the material in the kitchen is really durable. It's actually a hammered metal uh, tile for the countertops. All of the cabinetry is really well made, lots of ease pulling things out. This is actually wine storage up above there and that's all leaded glass to mimic the era of the house. And then you can see that there's two sub-zeros. This sub-zero is all freezer. So plenty of room for all your freezer space, drawers, ice down below. And then the fridge is all refrigerator. So plenty of great space for all of your food and a nice little crisper bins. Gas range, um, nice built-in spice racks. And then also the double uh, Fisher-Pickle uh, dishwasher. 
And then I use this here over for recycling. And then you can see it comes out to this nice back patio off these French doors. The property is about 25 feet wide. So I think the patio is probably 25 by 25. Part of it's covered, so if it's a little gloomy, you don't get rained on, but there's a lot of nice outdoor space to enjoy. Pretty low maintenance. As you can see down here, this is also the walkway that takes you to uh, the basement storage area. So, give you a little bit of idea about how to best access that part of the house. So when I mentioned we updated the systems, it's gas heat as well as the gas uh, stove. Brand new electric water heater and furnace last year, so I like to be maintenance free and let you be able to move in and have an easy spot to live. The house when I purchased it was a one story home and as you can see I've added the second story. This is a custom uh, wrought iron staircase made by two local artisans who have since moved to Hawaii, but it's a very fabulous uh, Fabulous staircase. It's nice and wide, so it makes it really easy to move furniture up the stairs as well. Plus, it makes it feel really open and spacious. It's nice to have the skylights up in the hallway here as well. It's pretty dramatic little space. So, I like to call this the West Bedroom. And it's very pleasant, as you can see, it's the bedroom that looks out on the trees. Both bedrooms are quite large. This one has the same detail as the front of the house with a nice bay window. I've seen people put little pillows in there, great little reading space. Lots of cabinets and plenty of room for hanging clothes in both of the closets. This is an open transom that originally had some leaded glass that was going to go into it that has not been put into it. So the house is very open, and if you have a easy living style, that's great, but as far as sharing the house with someone, it does make it a little more open, so please take that into consideration if that's the style of living you have. Just thought I'd point that out for you. All of the windows have screens in the house, and the leaded glass is basically decorative, so it's very easy to open it up to get good airflow and everything like that. And then upstairs here, we have a laundry, which is also some storage. It's a stack washer dryer, but it is a full-size washing machine and dryer. So that's nice and handy since that's where all the closets are upstairs here. The bathroom style is kind of a Jack and Jill style where it comes from the main bedroom, but you can also access it from the hallway. And this is the east bedroom. It's the larger of the two bedrooms. It's really quite spacious. It's been set up a couple different ways. It's easy to have a bed on this north wall and you can also put the bed on the other side. So there's plenty of room for a queen size bed on either side. Of course it has nice cathedral ceilings in this room so it just makes it feel really light and airy. It's a beautiful place to wake up because the sunrise is magnificent with this eastern exposure. It is beautiful different colors in the morning. And my favorite time of year is the fall when you can see the Washington Arboretum trees all turn golden and red. It's really, really a pleasant bedroom. There's also a small deck here, as you can see. We'll step out here. of Lake Washington. As I said, the Arboretum extends quite a bit through here, uh, but you can, Husky Stadium is just there, so you're close to the University of Washington. If you work on the east side, the 520 freeway is just moments from here, as is I-5 the other way. And as she pans to the south there, really centrally located, super easy access to all fun parts of Seattle. 
And a little tidbit here while we're up here, I do want you to see the street because it is street parking for the property. There's no garage access here, but as neighbors, we tend to uh, be pretty good about uh, making sure everybody gets a space close to their house. And we'll go back inside and take a look at the bathroom. This bathroom is a little more modern than the bathroom downstairs. It has a uh, Kohler soaking tub and it's a jetted tub and it also has a tall rain shower style. It's a great bathroom. It's got fantastic light. It's an awesome tub. And this has heated floors as well. So that's pretty much the main house. And we'll take you downstairs to show you the storage area and the basement next. Okay, so this is the exterior access uh, small basement. You notice the ceilings upstairs were nine feet high, so they're quite high. Down here it's about six feet high. I'm almost six feet tall, so it's not super big headroom, but it's quite a bit of very dry storage space. Um, lots of the utilities down here, as I mentioned, the new gas furnace, the hot water tank, there are, um, these shelves will stay. Of course, the tenant is in this property and that's why there's um, a lot of storage. I do have an electric lawnmower because taking care of the lawn is part of the tenant's responsibility. But I also have the hedge trimmers and stuff like that. So if you don't already have that, you're welcome to use them and just keep them in good shape. Plenty of electrical outlets if you have hobbies. Uh, some people come and do workshop stuff down here, but most people that have rented it have just used it for uh, storage area. It's partially heated and partially insulated. So, you know, if you really needed some more workspace, you could use it down here, but it's definitely chillier than the rest part of the house. But it's great to have. 